Helmets Off, brought to you by WCF Insurance, is now on. And so is the NFL Draft. And I couldn't figure out. I, I woke up today, and I just started to feel sick inside. I kind of, almost like I had allergies. I thought it was, well, spring is in the air. You know, things are happening. And I realized it was the draft. I hate the draft. It's the worst day of my life to this day. And, and it happened like a long, long time ago. Almost 30 years ago, I was drafted. And I still hate the NFL draft. It's one of those magical or disastrous days in so many young men's lives because it changes their fortunes forever. It is a magical, special time, and it's been fun to watch throughout the years. You know, uh, when football season comes around, you kind of feel it in your bones. You, you get excited. There's a smell in the air. And I always felt that way. But with this draft, not so much. It was just such a hard day for me. I had made a decision to actually leave college early, so I still had a year of eligibility. And after getting drafted behind eight other quarterbacks and in the fourth round to the Miami Dolphins, I felt like I'd made the biggest mistake of my life. Turned out to be a really good thing for me in that I got to be around some legendary players and coaches and really learn the game of professional football. And of course, it allowed me to become a free agent a year earlier, which I was then able to sign with the Detroit Lions. So it, was, it ended up being a great thing. And that's kind of what the draft is. It's not, it's not kind of where you end up. It's just a starting place for you. I've had uh, John Randall on my show before. I love his story. We were actually drafted in the same year. John Randall's a Hall of Fame defensive tackle, played for the predominantly for the Minnesota Vikings. He was undrafted. I mean, it's 12 rounds of the draft, 12 rounds and not a single team picked John Randall, who was a future Hall of Famer, to be on their team. So they don't always get it right. There have been some great busts who have been early round or, or, or early pick or the first pick of the draft. Not just one or two, many. It doesn't mean anything, but it sure hurts when your name doesn't get picked or it doesn't get picked where you want it to be. But in the end, it all seems to kind of wash itself out. I heard Aaron Rodgers uh, talk briefly about how having his name called and having that experience really changed everything for him. He said, it, it, my life changed in that instant. I remember watching specifically the draft that Aaron Rodgers was in and that he was supposedly one of, one of the top picks in the draft. So there was Alex Smith and Aaron Rodgers and two top quarterbacks in the draft. Of course, Alex played at Utah, which is where I played. So I, I have an affinity towards Alex, but um, I, I was surprised when Alex Smith was the first pick in the draft. And then just to sit there and go through that whole first round, which takes forever, by the way, uh, to watch as Aaron Rodgers sits there and sits there and sits there and more players and players and players and players and players are drafted. And then all of a sudden, he finally gets drafted by none other than the Green Bay Packers, who have... Brett Favre. It kind of reminded me in some small way of, of my situation in going to a team where, man, I got to sit. I thought I was a lot better than this. Somewhat humiliating to be here on national television and all these other guys get picked and, and then they shoot the camera on you because for sure someone would have picked Aaron Rodgers. And you look back on it and I think Aaron was probably, I don't know, late, maybe late, late, late first round one of the last picks in the first round. And so here, almost every team had an opportunity to pick up Aaron Rodgers, and none of them did. I'm sure there are a lot of teams right now that are kicking themselves, wishing they would have had Aaron Rodgers. And it just goes to show you how often that teams get it wrong. But it ended up being a good thing for Aaron Rodgers because Aaron got to go sit behind a legendary quarterback. He went to an organization that understood how to develop quarterbacks, the Green Bay Packers organization is phenomenal. Fan base is incredible. It's one of the best places, premier places, if you're a player, to play in the NFL. It's truly a, a remarkable treat to be a Green Bay Packer. And Aaron Rodgers <laughs> had the really the luxury, the benefit, the blessing of going and sitting and watching. And I'll tell you what, when he started to play, he was something special. I've always been a big fan of Aaron Rodgers. I've loved how he's played the game. I love how he throws the football. The guys won a Super Bowl. And, uh, prop, you know, you always, I, every year I just think, man, the, the Packers are going to get back there again. 
and I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't win another Super Bowl before his time is up. But this, this NFL draft is so, is so fascinating, so interesting. There are guys that get completely looked over, that have incredible years. There are guys that actually look like they are a sure lock to be an amazing player, and they become busts. It's fun to watch how trades happen and teams move their way up in the draft to pick players and how it changes the fortunes of teams of the Pittsburgh Steelers with Troy Palomalo, who never traded up in the draft to get a player, actually traded up, which shocked everyone to get Troy Palomalo, and now everyone sees why, and they understand. A lot of, a lot of exciting options as, uh, at quarterbacks early on, but there's also some late guys. You know, everyone's forgot about Lamar Jackson at Louisville, and, and I tell you, special talent. Who knows what's gonna happen with him and his uh, pro experience. Uh, uh, some other unique guys, Baker Mayfield, who's the Heisman Trophy winner. Where does he fit into all of this? Again, it's a it's a tumultuous day. It, the draft is. It, it's just, you know, there's only one guy that's going to be happy. Maybe there's a handful of guys that are going to be happy with these first-round draft choices. The rest of them are just like, man, I wish, I, you know, it, it turned out different. But it will. Uh, if you can play and you get in the right situation, the cream will rise to the top and we will look back on this draft I'm sure with, oh man, look how they missed on that guy or look how smart they were in picking up the other guy. And, and these kind of these quarterbacks, I think, could be those players, you know. What, what kind of player does Sam Darnold turn into? What kind does uh, Josh Rosen and, of course, this uh, Allen kid out of Wyoming. So it'll be fun to watch in the future how this is. I hate the draft, but I do kind of find it intriguing and interesting. So I'm going to go, I don't know, uh, drown my sorrows in a, I don't know, milk and cookies, I guess, and uh, get through this draft day experience. You want to check it out. It's an exciting thing. Helmets Off is now off. Text Helmets to 65537. Go to all those social sites and like us. And if you're smart, do the smart thing. Find Helmets Off. Until then, we'll catch you soon.